What's going on everybody? This is Jared coming back to you again on my channel, Keystone Carry. Today I've got my Canon 6D Mark II laying here, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm selling it. Let's get into this video. I feel like before I get into this video, I need to give you guys a rundown of how I got to the point where I purchased a Canon 6D Mark II. And then after I do that, I can get into some of the reasons why I have just about a week ago decided that I'm gonna list this thing for sale and I'm gonna move on to something else. So about 40 years ago, I started taking photographs of firearms and that might sound weird to you, but we had started a company called TA Targets. You guys have heard me talk about my company a lot. You've seen my steel targets that we manufacture at TA Targets on our range for all of my range shooting videos. So you're probably a little bit, at least a little bit familiar with the products that we manufacture. When we started the company out, we had a super tight budget. We didn't have a lot of money for marketing. We couldn't go out and hire people to help us. So one of the ways that I addressed this was just to start taking photographs. And at first I used my Samsung Galaxy S5. Then I moved on to my iPhone. And ultimately that's what kind of led me into this journey of getting a camera. But if you wanna know the full story of how I got into Canon and how I got into this 6D Mark II, you have to rewind even further back. My wife was a wedding photographer. She did portrait shoots for people. She did couples photos and family portraits. She started out at the end of high school and beginning of college with a Canon Rebel. And then ultimately right after we got married, I bought her her first full frame camera, which was the 6D, not 6D Mark II, but the one before this. As I started my social media journey and I started taking photos for my business, I started getting interested more and more in learning to use a real camera, quote unquote, real camera. So I asked her to teach me how to take better photos. And she taught me about ISO and aperture and shutter speed. And she gave me a basic foundation. And I started running with that Canon 60 for probably about a year. So now this is about two years ago when I was still using the 60 and I kind of was 50 50 between the cell phone and the 60. But that original 60 was kind of my gateway into playing around with DSLRs and getting into photography. And it was cool that I got to jump right into a full frame camera right off the bat. Now fast forward a little bit further from that point and we started to realize that videos are a very big deal when you're looking at marketing for your company. And rather than again, hiring somebody to create these videos for us, couldn't really afford to do that. I wanted to learn myself. So I started using the 6D to shoot videos and I realized very fast that that is not a camera that is good for videos. So the original 6D that I had did not have the autofocus that the 6D Mark II has. It did not have a flip out screen. It did not have a touch screen. It wasn't as easy to use. It's very similar to the 6D Mark II, but it just isn't the same kind of camera. I was doing manual focus and trying to get my videos to look good. And remember at this point, this was two or three years ago, I've learned a lot even in the last year about videos. So I was totally green to this and it made it extremely difficult to get videos. So then I decided I was gonna sell that camera and buy something with autofocus. And I ultimately landed on the 6D Mark II. So for any of you that have been following my pages, Keystone Carry or my business page, TA Targets, you've seen that we put out a lot of videos. And if you've been watching, I'm gonna say from July, August of 2019, from before that point up to July and August of 2019, almost all of my videos were shot on this 6D Mark II. And this camera has served me incredibly well. I've been so pleased with this camera and it really did open up the doors for videography for me. This platform gave me the ability to have autofocus, to be able to shoot videos faster, to have the flip out screen that everybody raves about with Canon, to have the touch screen, to have the dual pixel autofocus, to have all of the stuff that 
everybody raves about with a Canon camera for video. But then I switched it up a little bit more and now I'm using the camera that I'm recording this video on, which is the EOS R. I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why I decided I'm going to sell this camera. Now keep in mind that none of these are complete deal breakers. They're just traits of this camera that you're gonna to have to decide if you like them or hate them or wanna go some other direction. I would never bash this camera and I think it's a fantastic camera. For what I'm doing right now and, and the skill set that I have and, and the kind of videos I'm shooting, this isn't the best camera for me right at this moment. One of the biggest downfalls I think of this camera, and it's not specific to this camera, it is the fact that it's a DSLR and the focus points are really grouped into the center of the sensor. And I will hold it up and I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but if you check that out in my screen there, you can tell they're all grouped in the middle. And that's not really an issue when you're framing your subject in the center of your viewfinder, but when you're trying to work with something in a far right third or far left third or far bottom corner or something, even if you're trying to pan in on something, it's hard to get the focus points 100% where you want them all the time. Whereas with my EOS R, those focus points cover pretty much the entire sensor and I can really hone in on where I want that focus to be. So that's the first negative against this camera that as I was thinking about it and as I've been using the EOS R more, I've decided that I really don't like that about this camera. Besides the focus points being grouped into the center of the camera sensor, one of the other things that I don't really like about this camera, because it doesn't have it, but the EOS R does, is 4K video recording. 4K is not necessarily the biggest deal breaker for me because I'm honestly only just getting into recording and editing some of my videos in 4K. Most of my stuff is still 1080. But it would be really nice to have 4K for certain shoots. And that's one of the other reasons I really like the EOS R. Now the EOS R has some drawbacks with its 4K recording, but again, you can look at other review videos and find out more about that there. The other thing is the only format that this has is IPB. It does not have the all eye format like the EOS R does. So you don't have the option to record in the higher quality, less compressed version of footage. The other thing that the EOS R has is the C-Log. And I didn't know anything about C-Log until a couple months ago, but I started shooting in it and holy crap. <laughs> when you shoot in C-Log, the amount of grading you can do is incredible. Not that this doesn't have the ability to take awesome videos, but when I was shooting in C-Log, I was just able to manipulate my videos and grade them much, much better. So again, this does not have that. And because of that, I'm really steering towards selling this and then buying another EOS R. So one of the other things that's driving me to sell this camera is because of the fact it doesn't have all eye format, because it does not have the C-Log capability, when I'm using this as a second angle camera, I'm having it recording maybe from a different position, grading the two cameras together is extremely difficult trying to get them to look the same. Rather than fighting with that, I feel like the best alternative is to get this camera into someone's hands who's gonna really enjoy it and really use it, and then I'll go purchase another EOS R body. And then when I'm shooting multiple angles, I'm shooting them on the same cameras, and the grading is gonna be exactly the same between the two cameras. With all that being said, I don't hate this camera at all. I actually love this camera, and there's a lot of memories with this camera. I've photographed tons of people, been to tons of events with it, helped grow my business with this camera but I just think that it's time for me to move on to something else, which again is another EOS R body. This camera is very nostalgic for me because of all the memories that I have with it, but I definitely think that it is time to send it on its path, find a new home, and then continue to invest in my future as a photographer and as a filmmaker so that I can continue to grow and invest in, in really high quality tools that are gonna get the job done and do exactly what I need when they need them. So if you're somebody that is looking at the Canon 6D Mark II and considering them and you ran across my video and now you're like, oh man, this guy's gonna try to talk me out of buying it. I'm not doing that at all. I'm not gonna try to talk you out of buying the 6D Mark II. There are definitely benefits, I think, to the EOS R over the 6D Mark II, but they come at an increased price tag. And because these are an older model, you can get these for a pretty good deal now, online and even at camera shops. So do not take this video as me saying, this camera sucks because I don't think it does. I think this is an awesome camera. It's served me really well. I run it again with my 24 to 105, or I've run it with my 16 to 35 ultra wide, or even my 50 millimeter, and it's served me really well. 
It takes phenomenal photos. I'll put a couple of them up on the screen now so you guys can check them out. And again, it is a full frame camera that is really good quality. The pictures are always crisp when I take them and it has a lot of really easy functions and it's very easy to learn how to use. I think that as creators, it's super important that we're always analyzing our equipment. And I definitely am hesitant about always buying the next new thing. I'm not the kind of guy that feels like I need to upgrade gear all the time. But with this scenario here, I think it's time to upgrade from my 6D Mark II and move on to another EOS R. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, have you ever used a 6D Mark II? Are you running the new EOS R? Have you seen any info on the EOS R5? Because that thing looks mind blowing. Guys, I wanna know what you think. I wanna know what kind of camera gear you run. Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate you. Stay well, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video.